In today's lesson, we are going to talk about number magic. And this number is 142857. You can multiply with any number that you like. Let's say 314. And you have a new number, and in this case, it is 4485789. So we write as 8570988. Plus 44, and this will turn out 8, 5, 7, and this is 1, 4, 2. So you have this number. But look at this number again. It is actually a permutation of the same number. In fact, the order of 1, 4, 2 changed to the back. And this is not only true for this 3, 4, 1. It is true for any number. Let's look at the second example. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 times 5, 2, 1. And we'll get 7, 4, 4, 2, 8, 4, 9, 7. We do the same operation. This remains the same. 4, 2, 8, 4, 9, 7 plus 74. And in this case, it is 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1. It will be 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1. Right. What if we multiply a bigger number? Let's say 142857 times, and today's date is 20220314. And this is a big number 28886133970089. So, what are we going to do is six digit as a block six digit as a block and the remaining one digit that is we are going to add three nine seven zero eight nine plus eight 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 six one three plus two and after calculation one two eight five seven one three now again this is a seven digit number so we are going to do one more step and we will have 285713 plus 1 that is 285714 Again, it's still the same this 6 digit Now you can try for any number that you like but I would like to tell you there are some exceptions and this exception uh, happen at Example when it is 315. So after calculation, 4499955. And after we do the same operation, we have 999999. The crucial part for this is when this number is a multiple of 7. Whenever it's a multiple of 7 and you do the operation, you'll get 999999. If not, you'll get a permutation of this 142857 again. And we've been asked, why is so special about this 142857? This is a so-called a psychic number and we have more than this a set of number. Let us look at another example. For the next example, we make you of two set of number. That is 230769 and 461538. Sometimes when you multiply 230769 with some number, then we do the operation, you may not get back the same number, but you'll get the good friend. For this, you get 7246146. After the operation, then this will be 461538. 461538 times 314. For this, you have 144922932. And after the operation, it will be 923. 
zero seven six, and you'll get back this cyclic number. What will be the exception here? Is it three one five again? No, in this case, it's not three one five. Three two five seven four nine 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 two five, and you'll get nine 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 nine. Similarly, for four six one five three eight one four nine 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 eight five zero. So after the operation, you'll be nine 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 again. And this number is actually a multiple of thirteen. At first, it looked like a magic, but for most of us, we already deal with similar idea long time ago. What are the number that we have dear last time? It's not this, but a single digit. That is nine. Other than this three six digit number, we already deal with some similar number last time. But it is only one digit. That is nine. Because for nine, you multiply with any number. You get a number that is multiple of nine. What is so special about number that is multiple of nine? You will see from here, two eight two six. And the operation when it is one digit, that's nine. <coughs> what we do is we separate it into one digit as a block, and it turns out that it is two plus eight plus two plus six. That is equals to eighteen. For eighteen, we separate into a number as a block, one and eight, and we got the final answer nine. This is true for all number that is a multiple of nine. So we are actually doing the same thing for this uh, number, except that it is six digit. We can do the similar thing for let's say two digit, and in this case we use ninety nine. So for ninety nine times three one four, it will be equal to three one zero eight six. Now, when you separate into two number as a block, two number as a block, two number as a block, then you will get a ninety nine. And similarly, if you now if you have nine 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 times three one four, a three one three six eight six, and we make it three number as a block, three number as a block, and you have a nine nine nine. With this in mind, there's some interesting finding about this three set a number. Let's say I start with ninety nine times one four four three, and it will turn out that this is one four two eight five seven. And since it comes from ninety nine, that's why right, when I make it into two digit as a block, two digit as a block, then it will be sum up to a ninety nine. Similarly, if I have nine 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 times one four three, then it is also give me one four two eight five seven, and in this case it come from nine nine nine. So there's no surprise that if I make it into three in the block, three in the block, it is nine nine nine, and the same thing happened to the other two set of six digit number. For those who want to go to more rigorous math. It is not difficult for you to get your own proof. I hope that you find this magic is interesting enough. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again. Bye bye.